sake, I will choose to believe that. If it will excuse me, I have important work to do. Yes, thanks, and uh, goodbye. Hello again. Persistent. Mm. I actually admire that quality a great deal. It is underrated, in my opinion. Well, fever dream or no, if the Paxil Tech is going to be hanging around, I suppose I should tell it my name. I am Rothinder Ahimot. Hello. Oh, it is struggling. Poor thing. The Paxoltec dream creature may do as it pleases. Walt has more important things to consider. A pleasant jet. Surprisingly so. Indeed. Thanks and goodbye. It 
cannot be helped, can it? The curiosity. It is killing the Paxotec as surely as it is killing me. Knowledge is the only cure. This mural here on the cave wall, can it comprehend the meaning? A trick question, of course. I have dedicated my life to learning so that I may find the answers I seek and put the pieces together. After years and years of searching this jungle, I have finally found proof of what I knew all along. Of what it asks. <laughs> proof of all that matters in the whole world. Proof that the lost tribe of the Pan does exist. See, I have found the location of their civilization. It is no less than miraculous. Ah, I have gotten ahead of myself, have I not? I do apologize. My manners are not what they once were. I have been alone a long while now. A very long while. <clears throat> what uh, brings the Paxel Tech here? How can Walt be of service? If it is looking to spend, I have a few valuable items I may be willing to part ways with. Funding for my research must be procured by whatever means necessary. It is as good a time as any to stock up. It is leaving. How odd. The wandering Baxeltech returns. As anticipated. If it is in need of a friend, Walt could ooh, perhaps step in? Yes, uh, perhaps indeed. Ah, I thought it would never ask. This ancient mural is a gift from the lost tribe of the Pan. My long sought after proof of their existence. They were real, and they landed here. Far removed from Genus and her thin fruit. Imagine the freedom, the adventure, the fear, yes, but also the exhilaration. They were not unlike myself. Adventurers to the core. If only I had descended from one of their lot instead. Ah, but no time for pointless musings. From this mural, paired with my own independent studies, we can deduce that their ships were separated from the rest. They were assumed killed by the ocean's fury. But in truth, they arrived here and etched out a living as best they could under Thalos's mighty leadership. King Thalos was the son of Kolket and the Lost Tribe's leader. When they landed ashore, he led them into the underground tunnels and helped redefine their way of living to survive. It is a nasty jungle, as the Baxotec has no doubt noticed. But tragedy struck the tribe, as it does. My ancestors fell ill, beginning with brave Thalos, afflicted by the same disease that destroyed the ancient Pan society and forced them to abandon their homeland. I do not know what happened next. Not yet. But I will know soon enough. Mark my words, Baxutek. This is history in the making. The Paxultek must clean out its ears, hmm? When the ancient Pan left their homeland to escape the plague, several ships were separated from the rest and landed here. Thelos was their leader and helped build a new society, but he soon fell ill with that same plague. <laughs> its sense of things is keen. Indeed I am, shall we say, a distinct Pan. A commoner who loathed the idea of a soldier's life and dreamed of finding the lost tribe and perhaps others like myself. I grew up hearing stories about the lost tribe and was always told they were merely a child's tale. Well, 
I knew better, of course. My heart told me otherwise. It's much like the power of the life song, which can sing life into the lifeless. No flesh, no blood required. It is a song I can nearly, nearly hear. But not quite. Yet I search, ear to the ground. <laughs> no one believes me about that either, of course. I have always been an outsider because of these beliefs, not fitting in anywhere with anyone. I am strange, as the Baxter Tech so aptly observed. And so I took quite well to years of solitude, just me and my research. I became accustomed to the loneliness. Now would be an appropriate time for the Baxter Tech to make a purchase in support of Walt's research. Where should I look next?
That's it.
find you, my lost tribe. My brethren. Ah! Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it is nice to see a familiar face around these parts. Even if it is a strange and hornless one. Hmm? It has arrived at an opportune time. See, I have found another mural. This one is more than I could have ever dreamed of. This discovery is downright exhilarating. The implications, the possibilities, it's overwhelming in the best of ways. <clears throat> Excuse me, I <laughs> have a tendency to get carried away. Is my Paxil Tech friend in need of something? What is intriguing the Paxil Tech, I wonder? Listen well. Thelos survived the plague that had long haunted the pan. After falling ill, he began hearing an unusual sound that seemed to come from the ground itself. Music. Strange music, with no instruments or voice to carry it. He ventured out to find the source, but what he found was her. Lydusa, a goddess of stone. In exchange for a year of companionship away from his people, she promised to cure him and give him the means to cure the others. He agreed. In his time away, the plague had ravaged his tribe. But he was able to save those who remained and start over anew. The goddess had granted him an unusually long life and he ruled over the Pan for several prosperous centuries. The Pan worshipped their new goddess, building a temple and singing her praises. Here is the exciting part. It is said that she grew fond of the Pan and actually taught them how to use her power over the living stones. Watch that fleshy mouth, Paxortek! Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Carry it away. Carried away. The living stones are real. The result of the same precious life song I have searched for all my days. I knew I was meant to find both the song and the tribe. Now I understand why. Walt is a servant of fate. Does its furless skin have chills yet? In time, it will understand. I know this to be true. The power I speak of is great. Lydusa selfishly kept much of it to herself, but she at least taught the Lost Tribe to hear the music of the stones and control them in some small capacity. Naturally, they craved more. As do I, my friend. As do all of us with the heart of an adventurer. I... Yes. Yes, it does. Everything, as it were. See, I have been chasing this dream since I was a child. I was a commoner, born for nothing but bloodshed and servitude. But I did not want that for myself. <laughs> I wanted to believe the Lost Tribe was real, that they were out there somewhere. So I studied, became as clever and useful as I could, and at a young age, I was chosen to serve Genus herself. After many years of loyalty, I was assigned to a mission to explore the uncharted jungle. It was the chance I had been waiting for. So, here I am, chasing my dreams across cave and jungle. And finally, finally, I am nearing the answers I have long sought. I am on the trail, my friend. They could still be out there, or if not, Perhaps the secret of their power over stones. This could change my life, change our whole society. Oh, but one step at a time, I must not get ahead of myself. There is still much to unravel. I can hardly stand the excitement. Ah, it must listen well, yes. When the ancient Pan left their homeland to escape the plague, several ships were separated from the rest and landed here. Thelos was their leader and helped build a new society. 
but he soon fell ill with that same plague. Understood, my friend. Well, let be all. I hope my friend's journey is as fruitful as my own. Great. More bad news.